Hello everyone. Today we'll show you how to add a fixed API account using CTrader as an example, as many of our clients use this software. So to add a fixed API account to CTrader, you'll need to firstly receive your credentials. And if you're adding a fixed API account uh, of another broker, then these credentials will be emailed to you. You can receive these creation credentials as well in the CTrader platform by going to settings and selecting fix API. Here you'll have the credentials needed for price and trade connections and usually before adding the fix API account to CTrader or to any program, including Sharp Trader, you'll need to change the password. So I will enter the new password. I'll put QWERTY123 as my password and I'll click OK. And as you can see, the password has been changed and you'll have received these credentials. So we will go to Sharp Trader and click Add Session. So we'll have the session window opened and I'll just shift it over here for comfort. And we can click, for example, CTrader1, and we'll choose a name, which will help us remember which session this is. And you can call this anything you'd like. So here we can click Tip Fix and here as well. And now in the first window, we're going to have general settings. And you can enter these into here for your session. Uh, for example, you're able to enter uh, reconnections if you, for example, stop seeing quotes um, or per sending orders. And it also will allow you to enter the beginning balance. And this is because for most fixed API connectors, it is impossible to receive the balance to the eight fixed API protocol. And uh, you can also leave this blank if you do not require this feature. Next, we can click Menu and begin the setup. So we will begin with the connectors. We have a host and we can enter the host as fixed uh, trader recommends through the donate, domain name or you can enter it as an IP address. And I'll do it as an IP address. So, now we have the price quotes here. So we have the port uh, 5201 without CSEL and 2111 with CSEL. And we will enter the one without the CSEL. Next, we can enter the username. And this is for our account. So we will copy it and enter it into the username. So the password that we selected was QWERTY123. We will also copy the sender computer ID and enter it as well. The target computer ID, we'll copy and enter it. And finally, the target sub ID for the quote. We'll copy it and enter it here. Perfect. Now we select CTrader for the fix API provider. And we have the fix trading here. So we will set this up as well. And we can copy the IP and enter that into the port. So the port we have here without C cell is 5202. The username is for our account. Password is the same as before. So we will enter all this information. We can 
we will also copy and enter the sender ID, same with the target ID and the sub ID. I'm going to copy these all and enter them here. So after we've entered the sub ID, we will select that this is C Trader. Next, we will move on to the symbols. So in the symbols, we are we need to add symbols based on the connection. So we'll pick Fix and C Trader. And once we select what our connection between the two is, we'll see a list of symbols being loaded. It is also very important to understand that each symbol in CTrader is communicated via their unique number. So depending on the symbol, if you're adding a new symbol, you'll need to add its unique number as well. And this number has to be correct. So for example, if we were to trade and we wanna add gold, we right click and we'll see the symbol window. Here we'll need to locate the unique number for gold under properties. And this will be called the symbol ID. So we will look for it. So as you can see here, it says fix symbol ID is 41. And since I do not have gold added, I will add it here. So I'll input So I'll input 41 in the field here and write XAU USD. And this will make it active. And also, if I want to collect ticks for the symbol, I can check the box here. So you will also need to take note that ticks take up a lot of disk space. So the more symbols you turn ticks on for, the more disk space it will take up over time. I will also activate EuroUSD. And before activating anything, make sure that you see that the fixed symbol ID matches the fixed symbol ID in the column. So after I set up the symbols and the connections, I'll click OK and then click Connect. So I'll click OK here and click Connect here. If everything is going smoothly, then my session will connect and turn green. And it seems like I haven't received an error here, so I will try this process again, as this might just be a one-time error. So for when this happens, first you'll try to disconnect and reconnect. So we'll connect again. So as you can see, the session has connected. And now I can check if I'm receiving quotes. So I'll click the quote button and I can see that I am seeing quotes on the symbols that I've chosen. And you can add any uh, fix API session from your broker. However, you need to know that you're provider for this. So you need to, you can add session. Uh, you'll choose tip fix, for example. We'll click on Add Session, um, also choose to fix. And here you can see the provider, which does not necessarily match the broker. For example, PrimeXM or 1.0 are technology providers, and they can work with multiple brokers. So this field is not for your broker name, but instead the name of your provider. And I indicate that over here. 
So then you just continue to input your credentials. Thanks so much for your time and don't forget to subscribe.